Hello and welcome to our Sunday special, which is also day seven of our 12 days of Christmas. And um, we are going to do something a bit different here today. We have got some of the nothing to do with Christmas um, die sets from Sue Wilson's latest range. And they are shaped cards, but I'm not going to do them as a shaped card. And when I first looked at them, I thought, oh, well, not very many people move house. And then I thought, but Christmas from our house to yours goes very nicely. And so subsequently, that's what we're doing today. So we're starting off with very basic here. We're starting off with a 7x7 seven seven card. And there are actually two different type of dies of the shapes for here, for this type of die. So we have got this one, which is the house front. And this one has sort of got two stories to it. Or... There's the cottage, more, well, I would call it the cottage sort of, set. oh yeah, it is called cottage. And that's much more of a sort of cottagey type thing. So you have a choice of whichever you would like to go with. So they are a bit different. You've got fancy windows here on this one and a little round window. And on this one, um, perhaps more of a modern house, which is what I'm going for for that one. So as I said, they are shaped cards. So you can cut this outer piece here. And it has um, a, no cutting edge at the top there. So you would fold your card over and make that into the whole card shape. But for today, I'm, I've already cut it out with the other two dies. I'll show you that in a second. With the, it's a light grey. So I've gone for a light grey. So then I've gone for a dark grey for my roof. So there's two dies here. I've already popped these into place. An outer die and then the inner piece. So the inner piece has no cutting edge, so you have to put that second one on there. And then I'm just going to simply run that through my machine. And this is the one that we're going to cut about a bit. So I'm just going to run that through. Now the die set comes with lots of accessories, um, some of which we're going to do. Oh. One of which is that tiniest bow you ever did see, but let's just recover this from the machine. I'm just going to take my piece off there, and you can see that we have got the card front. So I'll just poke that last bit out. So hopefully you can see that it cuts out really, really well. Sorry about the shadows of the cameras there, but you can see that you have got the lovely tiles showing really nicely and we're going to use that to trim off so that we've got that sort of different colour combination there as well. So we've got a really special bundle for you today so you can buy if you so wish your house on its own okay. You've then got the house front accessories now they are a set of 15 dies and I've used some of them today. The idea is that obviously you can use them for any occasion. Um, you have got curtains, you've got topiary flowers, trees, whatever. You've got window boxes, you've got lant lamps, lanterns, decorations. You've got a chimney pot, you've got some more topiary, you've got a wreath for the front door, you've got shutters for the front door and you've got a cat and a dog that might sit there as well. So, oh, and little flowers there too. Some of them are the tiniest little dies you ever did see. Um, but, but together they make a really lovely combination and they go with the house for any occasion. But we are going to go for Christmas. And so if you purchase both of these today, so the tree, that tree is not a tree, that tree is a house. If you purchase the house, and the house front accessories today, you will get this die set completely free. Now this might seem a bit odd. This is a snowflake edger and it has got four dies in it to make all sorts of lovely patterns. You'll be able to see them on the side here. But we're actually going to use this one, this one here, because this makes the most perfect icicles and that's what we're going to use it for. So I'll show you how that one cuts out first and foremost, and then we'll put our lovely house together. So it has no cutting edge 
Okay, so I'm just going to pop it into the middle of my piece of white card and run that through my machine. I need to turn that that way for this one. Um, and just run that through. And you'll see how this comes out. It's actually really quite clever, I think. So we'll just take that die out of the way and you'll see that it hasn't cut anything, okay? Nothing at all. I'm gonna get my pair of scissors and just snip there and there. And then we've actually got a twofer because we've got our icicles here, but we have just as easily got icicles on that side as well. I don't actually need both sides today, but it just goes to show that you can use that um, in that way, that sort of negative is also fine for what we want it for. So we're going to use this piece and we're going to cut about our, our house and pop in together now. So we've got lots of elements that I've already cut out so that we're going to be using. So this is our roof, so we're going to put our roofs on and I'm going to get my trimmer and just trim the roof so we want a roof separately okay so I'm going to bring this in I want a roof separately so I'm going to trim off let's have a look there is a line here if I can get it on there and the line there and a line here as well So let's see if I've managed to get them in the right place. Mm, not bad, not bad. So our roof is going to go on the top like that. Our second roof is going to go down the bottom like that. And already, I think you'll agree, it's starting to look like a proper house. Now I've already cut out some, but I'm going to cut out the rest of here. So I'm just going to cut out the window frames. Now, it might seem as if that's a bit of a fussy thing to do, but actually it kind of finishes it off nicely. So you don't have to do this, and there aren't dies, separate dies, in order to do it. But I'm just taking the window frames and I'm just going to chop them out so that they look as if, and I'll pop them back on there, as if I've actually cut that out because I think that gives nice definition as well but again you don't have to um, do whatever you prefer with that I'm going to do I have already cut some out so you don't have to watch me doing them all I'll just trim this one and I'm going to trim the door now the door has got like a serrated line otherwise because it actually opens um, so I'm going to pop that straight on to there like that. Okay, now as I said, I've already cut quite a few elements out here. So I'm going to place this all together and see what you think. So let's get our little frames on here first. So a little bit of glue. Could use the sticky specs. Let's make sure this is going to run properly. Why does it never do it when you when you want it to? Thank you. Best to talk to the glue, I think, don't you? So just pop that back straight on top. And the door straight on top, just a bit of glue, and pop that straight on because then if we pop it straight on, if we wanted to, our door could still open. And these little bits, oh gosh, I don't want quite so much glue on that as that, do I? So I'll just pop that one down there. I have to work out which way around it goes, like that. Okay, now let's find all these other little pieces that I've already 
cut out. So I've got my other little doors, windows, so I'm going to pop them on first. And I've already cut out some of the um, curtains. And again, you don't have to put the curtains. You can dress it or not dress it, as the case may be. I think it looks rather nice if it's dressed. So just that one onto there. And finally, the other one over here. So just a little bit of glue either side. Just to pop that on. Oops, get that straight. It dries clear glue and then that will dry clear as we said. So our little bit of um, icicles needs to be trimmed and we're just going to pop that underneath the arches. <laughs> so I'm going to trim that onto there and then that one down to there. We don't need those bits. And just a bit of glue onto there. And we do need them so that they're just the icicles are just popping down from our rooftop. So over the top of the actual um, windows. So we pop that one. I think that just the icicles look really effective myself. So we just pop that back into place where it should go. Now, our little ones down here, we've got our second little piece there. Now, you can put another piece of um, icicles on there, but I think these look very nice. Now, these are the little, we're supposed to be thinking of Christmas after all, and these are the little garlands that would go just under the roof there. Now, I just wanted to show you how to do those. I cut them out in white all white and then I've just simply taken a variety of different pens and coloured in each of the baubles randomly so that we then got a pretty pattern down here um, which I think lends itself quite nicely. So just going to put a little bit of glue onto the little frame here and oops into place there but again if you wish you could just do the Christmas um, icicles hanging from both sides so there's our little frame and then that means we can then put our second rooftop over there like that so it just simply goes where it was cut from give it our nice little pattern there Okay, now I've got a tiny little wreath which is to go on the front door. I've just cut that out from green. You don't have to emboss it, it just comes out beautifully like that. And then a little bow goes on the top like that. Oops. So again, we're looking Christmassy already, yeah? Now, now I'm going to turn it over and I want to put my little windows on there, my curtains. So I'm going to place it so that my curtains are looking like that from this side and then when we turn over, they'll look good from the other side as well. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue close to the edge on all of the windows so that I can just place my curtains into place. So quite close to the edge and just press that down. Making sure of course because they're quite, if you look at them, they're quite detailed and the right side needs to be away from you. So you, when you turn it over it will look right. I'm just making sure that my curtains are meeting in the middle, so where you've got the pattern of the actual roof, um, a window I should say, you've got that meeting in the middle. Okay, so when I turn that over, you've got your little curtains there. Now, 
all sorts of different ways of finishing this off but I thought just a simple piece of vellum over the back of there would do the trick nicely so I'm just going to trim a piece off there and then another one over the back of there another one over the back of there because of course nobody is going to see the back of our frame but it looks nice to have some sort of a little something so ordinarily I wouldn't put the wet glue um, with the vellum because vellum is such a, a fragile piece if you could call it that for actually showing all the glue and everything and I don't want to do that but in this case no one's going to see the vellum as such you'll see it poking through but you won't see the vellum so when I just I just want to make sure that it's actually grasping because it just wants to so then when we turn it over hopefully you could see if I put it onto there that you've got that sort of see-through look there yeah I've also cut a few extra pieces out I've got a little chimney pot I've chosen um, the sentiment from our house to yours and I've also chosen a couple of little Christmas trees which are going to go in place as well so let's just pop this all together onto my snowy background so I'm going to put some foam onto the back because I want my house to be supported but I also want it to be whoops bring that down a bit I want it to be sitting up a bit so I'm just going to put some foam to keep that supported if you want to make it so that your door does actually open that's fine but also likewise you could just put the foam at the back so that it stays shut entirely up to you and I'm just going to put a bit of foam between those two top windows so that it's a fairly even thing so the things that I've used have been the shaped cards of the house front so this is the bigger house of the two there is the cottage as well and the offer goes for both of them so if you wish to have the bundle um, you can either have it in the cottage style or with the house front, which is this one. A little bit of glue onto the foam parts, just to make sure that that will stay stuck. And I'm going to pop that there, but first, oh, before, wait a minute, wait a minute, I want to put my moon in now. Does that look like a moon? Looks rather large, doesn't it? But it is a moon. Or well, we're calling it a moon, but it's also going to be my sentiment. So I'm going to pop that on first. I did want to just do that because the house might just go over the corner of it. So that's going to go there. Don't forget, I'm going on to my snow, snow background there. So it's a bit uneven. So I just want to make sure that it stays stuck. So, yes, that does go a little bit over there. So I'm going to pop my house down to the bottom like that I'm going to put my trees either side I'm going to put a little bit of foam behind it and I sort of curled them a little bit so that they are a bit shaped and with the um, with this one I've used both the layers I'll show you what I mean in just a second so both the layers, I've done the white layer on the top and then this one, I can't see it, this one is actually the um, glitter, silver glitter card which then shows through. I think that looks quite nice. Bit of foam down the centre again so that I can manoeuvre it a little bit. And pop that on that side of the house. Now, you could, if you have got cats and dogs, you may well want to put your cat and dog down here. So it sort of really shows as if it's from your house, but that's entirely up to you. Now, I've got my little um, chimney pot to put on. So I think we'll put that on with a bit of foam. 
so a bit of sliver of foam on the back and oh didn't know I got glue there as well so that goes there and then finally I've used the sentiment as I said from our house to yours and I've actually done that twice so that's quite a nice thick um, sentiment this would always also look really nice as a um, easel card because you could pop this up and then your sentiment could go in the center so it would be a nice different way of doing your sentiment um, or you could have the sentiment completely inside and various different things going on here but I just think that when you look at it first this card looked like as if it was only going to be a new home card but when you think about from our house to yours that's quite a popular type of card that people have at Christmas time um, and so that's why I thought I'd go with it so I'm going to pop my oh, wonky sentiment just down to here to yours up the top there so let me just go through what we've used we have used our house front which was just the house front I didn't use the outside die with that I've used the accessories pack which is the house front accessories but they do actually go with the cottage one as well I've used the sentiment from our house to yours and if you partake of such a thing let's just grab this Oops. if you get the whole bundle that will include a free snowflake edger you can purchase a snowflake edger on its own if you already have any of those items but if you haven't and you would like the bundle um, the bundle comes with a completely free snowflake edger and it is a bargain because the RRP for this is ten ninety nine, and you're going to get it completely free if you have all the bundle and why would you not? <laughs> it's not everybody's cup of tea but I just think that it's ideal for the new house cards or anything like that but it's also a lovely card for a Christmas card to say from our house to yours and I hope you agree. So don't forget, please comment after the video to say whether you liked it or not. And we are now rolling along to just the last few days. There's still some lovely items coming up, some old, some new, some elements that are old and new. And tomorrow we're going to be using the Snowflake Flurry stencil which was part of the bundle from Saturdays. So if you did purchase that, do look out for some nice ideas, or I think they are, using the Snowflake Flurry stencil. So that's something a bit different tomorrow. Um, I will obviously be back, um, where are we? On the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th for all of them. OK, all at 11 o'clock, but they only start at 11. So if you aren't free at 11, don't panic. They are there. If you want to look at three o'clock in the afternoon, they're all there. Anything that's for sale goes on the website under the 12 days of Christmas at 11 o'clock. Um, but the videos themselves are there forever. So don't forget, like, subscribe to the channel and then you won't miss out on any. And I will see you again tomorrow at 11. And, oh, nearly forgot to say, don't forget, all orders put into a grand prize draw to be drawn a week today on Sunday the 14th of November at 11 o'clock live for a fantastic bundle worth 40 odd pounds that would be possibly coming your way. So take care, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you very, very soon.